What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the CFL Podcast. And, y'all, we know kickoff starts at 2 o'clock today for the Delta State versus JSU game. But I wanted to talk about some things that they need to work on in this game today. Because we all know you should beat Delta State handedly. And that's not to say that you have to overlook them or think, think of them as nothing. But let's be real. You have multiple transfers on that roster who has produced at the FBS level for multiple years. Like, you you have the most talented roster in FCS football. So, let like, let's be honest. This should not be – they shouldn't be a formidable opponent to you. This shouldn't be a close game. You shouldn't come out to get that, – that's number one. The offense should not – Wait until the second half to get going. If you do, I'm actively looking to replace you immediately. Now, I know coaches say that all the time. You know, we're actively looking to replace you. Or if y'all don't show out, you know, somebody else going to get your spot and practice that next week. But they usually say that just to get you motivated to do something, all right? But if you have a hard time, if you have a hard time versus Delta State, if you cannot get going until the second half, Next week in practice, I'm I'm looking to replace you. I'm looking to replace you. I'm looking at the running backs. Like if if the running backs don't ball out, JD Martin, who's been waiting in the wind, he he's gonna get some touches. All right. So the same thing with receivers. I got a lot of freshmen on the bench right now who are four stars out of high school. Quadarius Davis, he hasn't played a game yet, even though he's redshirted. Y'all know he gets four games to play. I can look at him. Um, a la Brown, you have to go out there and you have to perform against Delta State. Like this, in all honesty, this should be a game where you work on things that you've been having a problem with the past three weeks. This is just an opportunity for y'all to come in and, you know, just work out the kinks. Because we all know you have a very important game, probably the biggest game of the regular season coming up next week versus Alabama A&M. So this should be a prep game for that. Don't overlook them. Don't play down. To, that's And that brings me to my next point. Do not play down to Delta State's level. Teams have... They have a habit of doing that sometimes. You you know, you play this opponent who isn't as formidable as you. So you think, you really think, I can turn it on and off when I want to. You go through practice, you ain't going as hard because you know who on the schedule this week. And you come in with that mindset. We can just turn it on and off when we want to. I don't have to go this hard on a certain play. And it'll hurt you. It'll hurt you because you start to play down to the level. And that's where you'll me- get messed up at. So don't do that. All right, defense. I need to see, do it. Keep doing what you're doing, number one. But I need for y'all to work on tackling this game. Seriously, Shallow, if you get a big hit, that's fine. Trevante, if you get a big hit, that's fine. Um, but focus on breaking down. Focus on wrapping up. That's all I want to see today. You don't have to prove anything. This is Delta State. No disrespect to them, but they're Division Two. You don't have to prove anything. Go in there. Break down, tackle, wrap up. Like that's that's it. That's it. Just get the job done. That's that's the theme of today. Just get the job done. You don't have to be pretty. You don't have to be flashy. Just get the job done for defense. Y'all don't have much to be even be criticized on. All right, because you are the best defense so far in SWAT football. But you know y'all have room for improvement as far as the offensive goes. Shador. You, you you never have a problem with ball placement. So I'm not, I can't say go out there and, you know, make better decisions. You only threw one interception so far in three weeks. I'm interested to see since your last career attempt so far has been the interception that basically sealed the win for ULM. How are you going to come out and how are you going to be now? First of all, you had to get it out your system at some point. Anyway, you were you weren't gonna go through your whole college career without throwing an interception. I just want to see where your head is at now that you've done that. You've gotten that. You've gotten it out of your system, and you know. I just want to see how you bounce back. Um, like I said, no hero ball stuff. No hero ball stuff. All right. If you're gonna run, because we know you're athletic now. You know you, you're not you're not the biggest athlete for a quarterback. But you're more athletic than people give you credit for. So if you're going to run out the pocket when it breaks down, hold on to the ball. 
Like just like that's that's the thing I want to see Shador work on. Know when to take a sack, know when to throw it away, and hold on to the ball. Clean up the fumbles. No more delay of games, and you know every freshman mistake like that. Just play disciplined football. You feel me? You've been he's shown progress because now you know he takes knees and stuff like that if a fumble happens. But you know what I'm saying? Just no more wasted opportunities. No more wasted downs or anything like that. Offensive line. If you have a problem versus Delta State, that is a problem for me. That is a problem for me. There should be no reason why Shador has a minimal amount of time to throw versus Delta State. I Like I said, I don't care who they got. I don't care who Delta State has. I don't care how good they are at their level of play. Y'all come from FBS programs. I'm not saying they won't get through... Sometimes, you know, because you can't be perfect. But, you you know, you, y'all should win this battle pretty handedly this game. And I'm just speaking to the line right now. Um, so, yeah, none of that holding stuff. Uh, get, the, get, the, get the run game going. I'm not really concerned about the passing game right now. Um, the only thing I would say about passing is learn to pick up blitz. Blitz is better than what you do. I need to see more communication. Um, more pointing out, like, I need to see the center pointing out, hey, you know, such and such, they're coming down. Like, y'all need all that, right? Pick up the blitz better than you do. That's the only criticism I would have for you passing-wise. Um, rushing-wise, you need to get going. You need to get going. You need to get it started this week. Um, because this will be the easiest shot that you have all season to do so. So, I need to see guys getting picked up off the line and taken for a ride, all right? I don't need no more of this stagnant run game stuff that y'all have been doing. I don't need to see Peyton getting four yards straight up the middle and that being it. Or Santi um, running for his life in the backfield because he didn't even ha- he barely had time. I don't need to see it no more. Santi should not have negative nine yards like he did last week in this game. He should not. He should not. Um, and what I expect from the receivers, y'all, y'all, I mean... I mean, if y'all don't have a day-to-day, if y'all don't have a day-to-day, I'm going to know something. I'm going to know something. Josh, you are a matchup nightmare. If you don't have a day-to-day, Keith Corbin, Shane Hooks, um, I want to see y'all dominate this game just so I can see what we have depth-wise, what Jackson State has depth-wise. I want to see how all our Brown performs once he gets in. I want to see the younger, the younger classmen the, um, I want to see the freshmen and the underclassmen get in and show what they can do. I, like, I'm ready to see their skill set. I hope they let Quadarius Davis suit up this game just so we can see what he got, you know, because he hasn't played his four games yet. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm looking forward to. So, do y'all job so that way coaches can kind of get a look at what they have depth-wise as a whole. You feel I me? Mean? Like, just, just do y'all job. And be on the sideline like by like the third quarter, and you know, like make this a running clock game. Make this a running clock game. You have the manpower, so it's time to show it. I want to see what the younger kids can do on that field versus Delta. I do. I really do. Um, and overall, the coaching staff. Number one, we gonna always go back to the offensive coordinator. Man, listen. Air it out. Air it out today. Air it out today. You can feel them out for like the first drive, maybe the second one, but air it out. Um, and just take chances. That's it. Like, that's that's been my main criticism of you. Like, your offense is so vanilla. Your play calling is so vanilla. And it's boring. And I'm getting so tired of it. You have these dogs left it. Like, give, give these guys some tape. Please. Please, some of these guys are trying to get to the NFL, man. You got to give them some. You got to give them some looks, you know. You got to give them some wild factor to put on their highlight tape. So, please do that. Overall, I just think this is a game where you need to show out. Um, I'm pretty sure that that stadium is going to be packed. That stadium is going to be packed. Um, I think the AD want them is asking for people to, like, exceed 40K, which I have no doubt in my mind that they will because people have been waiting to see y'all for three weeks. Um, in the home stadium. So, 
just go out there, give the fans what they want to see, give them big plays, give them exciting plays on the offensive side. Defense, do your job. Do your job. Everybody knows how great y'all are. And, you know, treat this as a game where you work on the things that you've been having problems with. That's it. Receivers, no drops. Offense, no bonehead penalties. Um, running backs. That's why I didn't even get on. Running backs, show out. Y'all haven't, y'all haven't got it going for three weeks. Y'all should be the main ones that want to show out this game. Y'all should be the main ones. Same team and pick it. It's time for y'all to have a coming out party. <clears throat> but that's all I want to talk about. It wasn't going to be a long video anyway. Um, with that being said, if y'all have made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate you. Let me know down below in the comments what you want to see them work on and improve on in this game. Um, and I think that's it. With that being said, y'all, I go by the name of Kobe. You are watching the CFL Podcast, and I'm out.